What is up my movie fanatics? It's time for another contest entry, but this is a very special contest entry because not only is this for an amazing glue tuber, but it's also for a good friend and that is Colin the Cinema Addict. We also kinda still know him as Marvel DC Fans Reviews. I had to say it, Mr. Marvel, I had to get that out, so. Before I get into his contest entry, I just wanted to give him a big congratulations. Um, we both started on the same time, I don't know if you guys knew this, and it was brought, I don't know how we even found each other, we just happened to, but Nick Moen uh, is a good mutual friend as well, and he brought us together, and <laughs> here we are now, so we're really, really good friends, and this is awesome, I can't believe that you are at 500 subs, that's in freaking insane. Actually, it's really not though because it's you, Marvel, and it's the kind of stuff that, I mean, I wouldn't expect less. So congratulations, buddy. If you guys are not sub to Marvel, I still call him Marvel, I'm sorry, you're gonna hear 17,000 times in this video, but Colin, then you guys must go sub to him. But once again, I'm very happy for you, buddy. I love doing live streams with you. It's been a blast doing a few we, you surprised me that one time with a gift. It's just, we're, yeah, it's great. So this is the reason why I continue to do videos because people like you. So let's jump right into it. I actually have my phone here with everything that he's asking because I, I have no brain. Let's just face the fact. Question number one, favorite horror film. Ah, uh, you guys know I like 80s stuff or older horror film, classic horror films. I'm gonna have to say Christine. Because it was the first movie that I could actually watch, I remember watching, because it, it was scary as a child, but my mom introduced it to me, and I actually don't have that in my collection yet because um, it's hard to find and you have to get it through Germany now apparently, and it's crazy, but yeah. So Christine would have to be my favorite horror film. It is very sentimental to me. I used to watch it all the time with my mom and dad he liked it as well so that would have to it's really hard to say but that's way up there on my list question number two favorite movie villain i really have always been a hard critic of villains um this is a great question by the way because i think a villain can make or break a movie and my favorite villain has to be from one of the recent films uh, Captain America and the Winter Soldier, it has to be the Winter Soldier. Sebastian Stein does a phenomenal job of nothing. He doesn't speak, it's all body language. I mean, he speaks, but it's all body language. It's pure, um, I don't know, just hatred and mind control, and you can see it from him. And that is, like, the greatest part about him, is that you don't hear him speak for a long time. And he's just a complete badass. So I would have to give it to the Winter Soldier. Definitely, I don't know if anybody will ever be able to top him. Question number three. Most anticipated film of 2015. Now it has to be, I could go the easy way out and say Avengers, but I'm not. It has to be Jurassic World. I remember watching Jurassic Park with my cousin and brother. It used to scare the living crap out of me. Um, because back then, you're young, you don't really know what's real, what's fake. I mean, you do, but it still scares you. You know, it's big dinosaurs. I'm so excited to see them bring it back and see what they do and have this whole world of dinosaurs. I've been fascinated with dinosaurs since the time I, like, since I can remember because of this movie. I used to read all the National Geographics about them. I used to have some books on dinosaurs. I used to, when, when I had dial-up internet as a young child, <laughs> I used to constantly read about dinosaurs. I still watch the dinosaur stuff on Discovery Channel. I'm fascinated by them, but I'm also more fascinated by this movie because you're bringing dinosaurs back to life and they do it successfully and it's something I've always wanted to see. So I'm so excited for Jurassic World. I think it's gonna be awesome. Number four, guys. Name one movie that you really want to add to your collection that you don't currently own. Pfft, that's easy. It's not a movie. I can't say movie, it's a series. It's Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, because every time, 
I'm such a cheapskate, and Colin, you know this firsthand. I'm such a cheapskate. Skate. Every time I go to like a secondhand shop or a pawn shop or something, I see them there, and I'm like, oh, you know, a couple or five bucks. That's not bad for all like first three. And I'm like, no, I'm gonna be too cheap. So I never pick them up. I know they have, I'm sure they have box sets and all kind of stuff, but I will eventually have the Pirates of the Caribbean. I'm stoked for the fifth one. Yeah, which I just found out that Jess is a big fan of too. I didn't know she was a huge fan of this until recently, but it's awesome. And I don't know why I don't own them because it's Disney, which I love, and it's pirates and it's action and it's Johnny Depp, plain and simple. And the last question. Give a shout out to a YouTuber that you've never given a shout out to. Oh, that's easy. Um, I've heard a lot of people have been talking about these guys and they've been a huge supporter of my channel. They are hysterical. They're very talented with editing and that would have to be Flick Fanatics. Um, I actually found these guys through 31 Film Talk. He introduced them to me and they are great. I love their reviews. I love their out and abouts with Rick Danger. Come on, it's Rick Danger. If you haven't, if you just want to see, if you just want to just, if you're having the worst day of your life, you're just watching out and about with Rick Danger and you will crack up because he is, there's no other man out there like him. It's, he's hilarious. But everybody else is really cool. Matt's a great guy. We've talked many, many times on Twitter. Uh, he always responds to all of my comments that I leave on him and he's always commenting on my stuff So the group of guys are very talented. They're very funny So if you guys do not know who flick fanatics are you should and you should be subscribed to them If not go check them out So there's my exciting contest entry there. Mr. Marvel. See said it again and Yes, so I wanted to say uh, Congratulations one more time. More live streams to come, guys. I hope we do more of them. I know he will. Uh, thanks for always listening, I guess, and helping me get through a lot of times through YouTube. Um, he has given me advice numerous times about YouTube, and and it's it's always been so helpful. So he's always been a good listener. And, you know, he, he went behind my back, which I said before, which was so creative, and got and sent me a movie. Uh, he actually went through Jess, found her on Facebook. So, congratulations, guys. Um, good luck to all the contest entries and everybody who enters. I'm out. I hope Big Block doesn't take this one. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Big Block, you're my Bluetooth brother. But, congratulations once again. And as always, everybody, take care and happy watching.